Welcome back to What's the Buzz in Western New York. Have a taste for some dumplings? How about some wiener schnitzel or potato pancakes or German beer? Then you need to head to Sharp's Restaurant on Clinton Street in West Seneca. We're in West Seneca at the new location of Sharp's family owned and operated restaurant. Mm. Hi, Jerry. Hello, Kim. It is so how nice are you? to see you. Very nice how to see you. How wonderful to be here. Jerry, well, how long has Sharps been in business? We have been in business for 48 years. Only one year in this location. One year in West Seneca, and prior to that, you were in Buffalo. That's right. We were right on the edge of Schiller Park. And your customers heard that, that there was this possibility of Sharps closing. Yeah, one of my friends had told the uh, Buffalo News my plans to close the place. Uh, in June of 2012 and it hit the papers and we had support from the community like never before. Buffalo we wasn't record having numbers. any of that. That's they? right. They didn't want to see us go down. No, no. Buffalo couldn't, could not lose this wonderful German food. And of course, you are family owned and operated and you always have been. That's right. That's right. Your mom and dad wife, started it. Your mom and dad yeah. started the my business? My brother worked for us. And uh, now my wife and my, my two of my three kids work for us. It's your everything that a hometown business here in Buffalo really is. You, yeah. you love your community, your community loves you, yeah. and your family is invested in this business and in this community. That's right. And yeah. the recipes for the food come from? My mom's recipes and probably from her mom before her. Um, she brought them all over from Germany with her. So there's a lot of history in that. Absolutely right. And of course, we're, we're standing in your dining room, and there's so much to see here from Germany. There's a lot of local memorabilia. And uh, of course, you know, it's a lot to enjoy here to look at, but people come for the food. Right. So I'm dying to see your kitchen. Well, let's go take a look. Where the magic happens. All right. I'll follow you, sir. So what are we cooking up, Tim? We are cooking our world famous potato pancakes. Mmm, world famous yes. potato pancakes sounds yes, very German to me. Are. So is this a homemade recipe? It sure is. This, is. this is your grandmother's original recipe for potato pancakes? And maybe her mother before her too, yes. Man, that is been. outstanding. Well, now that the potato pancakes are on, I want to learn how to make your famous dumplings. Okay, Kim, they're right behind you. Okay, here we are. Now, is this also your grandmother's recipe? It certainly is. They've been passed down for more years than I've been alive and probably came from her mother before her. That is so cool. And so this is, this is a side dish that comes with pretty much everything? That's right, and we cover it in gravy, and it's a very hearty meal. Ooh, gravy. So uh, other than the dumplings, what are some of the other specialty German foods that Western New York will find here? We are famous, like I said, for our potato pancakes, mm -hmm. and we are also very popular um, as our Wiener Schnitzel. Your, your is, Wiener Schnitzel? That's correct. It okay. is breaded veal cutlet, deep fried, and cooked to perfection. Mm. Cooked to perfection is always my favorite. Okay, well, as soon as we're done making these dumplings, you've got just a really, really interesting uh, location here, and you have a bar that dates back over a hundred years. And uh, once we're all dumplinged up, maybe we can go out front and find your dad and grab a beer. Sounds good. All right, thanks, Tim. Absolutely. So good. That's the Roladen with dumplings, the dumplings you just rolled. And the that's potato red pancakes and that your are, son Tim had that's in the frying right. pan. And this is my lovely daughter, Andrea, that's bringing it Enjoy. To us. Thank, Thank you, you Andrea. Honey. Okay, so this is all home cooked family recipes. These are the dumplings that we. You're going to love them. I'm going to love these dumplings. I, I had to have a side of them myself. And, and, uh, you said that this is cabbage? This is a very red German cabbage, food. Yes. Okay, red cabbage. Yeah. And, you know, I, I look around in your dining room. This is a really good sized dining room, so you have plenty of room for parties. That's right, we do. We, uh, we actually have had parties as big as 100 people in here before. And so you also have the parking to handle That's uh, right. the parties. That's right, we have a huge so parking lot now, which we didn't have at the old place. And uh, parties, uh, receptions, parties, yeah, weddings, communions, whatever. Excellent, excellent. Oh, the phone's ringing off the hook, isn't it? Because yeah. everyone, everyone needs uh, some good old Sharp's German food. Well, I'm going to exactly give this, a, give this a try. Mmm, mmm. Oh, and that gravy. That gravy is like grandma's it. recipe, right? Absolutely mm. right.
you have something special with Absolutely. German beer? Yes, we do. We have uh, beer flights, German beer flights, and it's four different tastings of four of our six German beers that we have on tap. All right, shall we? Of course. What do you say in German? Ein Prosit. Ein Prosit. <laughs> and of course, dessert. Of course, dessert. Let's have dessert on the patio. How's that sound? That sounds fantastic. Oh, Jerry, thank you so much. Western New York, you've got to come down and check out the German Fair at Sharps. Family owned and operated for almost 50 years, and I've got to tell you, West Seneca is lucky to have you. Thank you very and much. And thank you for having us today. Thanks for coming in. Sharps has been family owned and operated since 1967 at 2683 Clinton Street in West Seneca. Call for reservations at 716-895-7249. Check out their menu online at sharpsrest.com. Thanks for watching this edition of What's the Buzz in Western New York on WBBZ TV. We'll see you next time on your hometown Me TV station.